Hello everyone. This video walks through completing Packet Tracer Assignment 2.2.2.4 Troubleshooting Inner VLAN Routing. This Packet Tracer Assignment is a part of the Cisco RNS Scaling Networks Version 6 curriculum. So in this Packet Tracer, hopefully by now you have already reviewed our VLAN configurations and in the um, Cisco RNS Routing Essentials uh, curriculum, hopefully you've already reviewed also and configured um, inner VLAN routing or router on a stick so that you can carry multiple VLANs across one port. Um, the legacy way, the old way to do multiple VLANs is you would have had to have, uh, let's say for instance here we've got two VLANs, 10 and 30. We would have had to have a separate fast ethernet port going from the switch to the router to carry each one of those VLANs. Now in this case, we're able to carry multiple VLANs across this one trunk link. And you've also uh, already learned how to configure that by this point as well. So what we're gonna do in the troubleshooting lab is use some of our show commands to really figure out what may be the issue because all the troubleshooting labs have something wrong with them. So you can write down your problems as you go through so you kind of know what you have looked at and what you haven't to fix it. So I'm going to start with the switch though since it has to do with um, inner VLAN routing and the VLANs. So I'm going to start and look at the VLANs on the actual switch. Make sure that everything has been assigned appropriately and that the, v the VLANs have been created. So I'm going to look at show run. That's always a good place to start and we can look at each individual port. So we want <clears throat> PC1 over here to be in VLAN 10. Let's see if I, can, I can't move that, but this is PC1 over here. This is PC2. All right. Just because you can't really see the labels there. So PC1, and you see that up here in the address and table as well, is supposed to be in VLAN 10, and that's FA011. So we want to see fast ethernet 011, we should see right here is in access mode because it's only carrying one VLAN and it should be carrying VLAN 10 traffic. So that's correct. PC2 on the other side is connected to FA06 on switch one right here and it should be carrying VLAN 30 traffic. So that is correct in access mode. So it would be an access mode if it only needs one VLAN. Remember, trunking mode carries multiple VLANs. Now that's the other thing we need to check, is to make sure this port right here, G01, is carrying multiple VLANs, so it needs to be in trunk mode going up to the router. It also would be in trunk mode if it's going to another switch to carry multiple VLANs. So G01 is the one that we want to look at, and you notice we have an error there because it says it's in access mode. That should be in trunk mode. Okay, so let's go ahead and fix that. Configuration mode, interface G01 is the port, and we wanna do switch port mode trunk. Okay, and you'll see it starting to renegotiate there um, with the router. Okay. Now let's look at the actual router configurations itself. Oh, sorry, before we leave the switch also, we want to look at to make sure the VLANs are created correctly. And to do that, you do show VLAN brief. We see all of our VLANs that we have created. One remembers that default one that's always there. That looks like they have created 10 and 30, and you can see what ports they're associated with, and that is correct for those PCs because PC1 is plugged into FA011 and PC3 is plugged into FA06. So that is correct as well. Now on the router, I'm gonna do a show run as well. Now remember, you need a sub interface for every VLAN. So the actual physical interface here, G01 on R1, we're not assigning any IP addresses. We just wanna turn it on, that is it. The sub interfaces is what's going to actually carry the traffic. So it'll be G0 slash 1.10, G0 slash 1.30. And you see that up here in your address and table. Okay. 
We also need to set some type of encapsulation because when you try to set a IP address for those sub interfaces before you do the encapsulation, it will scream an error at you basically saying you can't do that yet. So let's look at show run first and look at what we have configured here. So we've got G01 here, does not have an IP address, but we do want to make sure it's on. So um, we can see that with our green lights as well, but we see that it's on because it doesn't say shut down. And then G0 slash 1.10. This is the one that's going to carry VLAN 10 traffic to PC1. And it says that it has the correct IP address because this is like the default gateway for everything that is in VLAN 10. It's going to go up to that before traversing over to another network. But the problem we notice is this needs to match here. This says it is encapsulated for VLAN 30. That's what the dot one Q30 means. That is incorrect. It should be 10. And then here for the 1.30 network, they've got it encapsulated for VLAN 10 traffic, which should be VLAN 30. So we need to fix both of those. So the way you're going to have to fix this, though, is because you can't have uh, multiple um, encapsulations the same on multiple ports. You have to remove both of them and then go back and configure it. So what you'll have to do is go into interface G0 slash 1.10, okay, and do no encapsulation dot 1Q30, okay, because they had incorrectly figure, configured it there. So you cannot go and do encap.1Q10 now because we still haven't taken it off the other one because it will give you an error. So no encap.1Q10. Now that it has been removed from both, so there's no encapsulations anywhere, now we can start putting it back together. So, and we don't have to change the IP addressing. That was okay uh, for the router. So encap.1Q30, because we're under the 0 slash 1.30 interface. Now let's go back into G0 slash 1.10 and put encap.1Q10. Okay. Also right here under, all right, we did that, we got that. All right, so next, let's just do a show run just to confirm. All right, so now you see it be correct uh, but also it took our IP addressing off so um, and it shut it down so we want to go back and make sure we fix that as well so now we got to go back into interface G 0 1.10 IP add and we're going to do 17 dot oh sorry 172.17.10.1.0. And I forgot when you take the encapsulation off because you can't have the IP address in there, it does take that off of there. So it was correct the first time, but we got to go back and reset that. And then make sure you type no shut to make sure it's on. And then interface G01.30, IP add 172.17.30.1. Slash 24 subnet mask. I'm going to do a no shut again, but I think that one was already on. All right, so just making sure we've got everything there, and then we can do a show run one more time. And we're good to go. All right, remember these are the default gateways for your PCs. All right, now you notice we're at 45 out of 60, so let's check the last thing we can check, which is the IP addressing for both PCs. All right, so PC3, 172.17.30.10, slash 24, but we notice they entered in the wrong default gateway. Should be .30.1, not .10.1. All right, and if we check PC1, everything is right. And that also gives us 60 out of 60. So we fixed all our problems now. So we should be able to expand that 
and ping from one PC to the other. It may fail the first time, you refire it, it goes back and forth successfully, and that's what we wanna see. So it, the traffic is going from PC1 to switch one up to R1, back down that same line, and then to PC2 because you're going across multiple VLANs. So that way we can allow uh, traffic across multiple VLANs. That's where the inner VLAN routing comes from or router on a stick. So that completes this lab assignment um, for 2.2.2.4.